back at his desk in the Gators Man Cave. Sports with Blake. Hey everyone, so I want to talk about how the Florida Gators did on National Signing Day. So the Florida Gators did not lose any commits today, which that is a great sign. That's what I like to see. Um, all the guys who did not sign their national letters of intent or complete their transfer process to the Florida Gators, they ultimately did so today. Jalen Kimber, the transfer from Georgia, made it official today. Osiris Torrance, the Louisiana Raging Cajuns, big offensive lineman, it was official today uh, that he's a Gator. Max Brown, the three-star quarterback, uh, he is officially a Florida Gator. Hayden Hansen, the tight end, six foot five, two hundred and fifty pound tight end, um, three-star tight end. He is official uh, today. Trevor Etienne, the four-star running back, who I really like. The more I see footage of him and his highlights, holy cow! I think he can be a thousand-yard uh, running back. Uh, Miguel Mitchell. He is official today, a three-star athlete um, out of Oxford, Alabama. Uh, Jack Pyburn, he committed yesterday. He signed his national letter of intent today. Andrew Sevenea, he is the big three-star defensive lineman, six foot three, two fifty-eight, out of Graham, Washington. Um, big guy. You know what? He's a three-star. He's rated like six hundred and seventy-two uh, nationally. Um, but you know what? You put the tape on him. He's he's a strong kid. Um, now, one new one today, it's uh, something that the Florida Gators need. Now, it's not a big-time recruit, um, nothing that, you know, is going to bring out the wow factor or nothing like that, but uh, a three-star wide receiver, six foot three, 185, Caleb Douglas. I touched on him in my recruiting um, video that I made a couple of days ago. Now, he flipped his commitment from Baylor to the University of Florida, so you know what? That's one flip that the Florida Gators did uh, get. And, you know, he's 470th ranked nationally, so he's a high three-star recruit. Uh, some websites have him as a four-star, but uh, the composite has him as a three-star recruit. Good little wide receiver, uh, something that the Florida Gators desperately need. Um, now, I did touch on a receiver um, in my last video, Arliss Boardingham. Now, Arliss Boardingham is not announcing where he will be playing his football today. He said he's going to do it at a later date. Uh, apparently, Oregon kind of swooped in on him and I guess is making him rethink. Uh, it was looking like the Florida Gators were 100%. Uh, that's where the crystal ball had him, but uh, now Oregon swooped in and uh, maybe maybe it's a change of plans. But Arliss Boardingham is a six foot four, 220-pound wide receiver and uh, you know a big, big target. I haven't seen a date set for him yet. I like seeing the commitments, you know, stick with their commitment. They didn't flip. They didn't do anything. Uh, the Florida Gators actually got one. Uh, they actually flipped a commitment. So now ultimately, you know, I'm going to talk about this because I didn't want to make this video until after um, I heard anything about Harold Perkins, the five-star linebacker. He ended up committing to LSU. Uh, you know, I was like, oh no. Leading up to it, it sounded like it was going to be LSU all the way. Uh, I stopped hearing Florida's name. Um, but you know, that's the way it goes. That's how this national signing day is. You know, sometimes you're going to win. Sometimes you're going to lose. You know, you can't get every recruit. But hey, I appreciate y'all watching my channel. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. I appreciate it. Y'all have a great one.